So here at the supercharger, and if you notice, I'm wearing a suit, I'm in crutches. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I had surgery last October 5 on my right knee. You see this bulge, I have a knee brace underneath. So yeah, if you notice, that's why I don't have much, much videos lately. I have no extra hand to hold the camera with, so I can't really shoot videos. But anyway, this brings us to an interesting topic. Traveling with disabled people or people who have undergone surgery, right? So what gear do you need? You, we travel with a lot of extra gear. And if you want a performance car, a car that, you know, has good performance and um, it's very practical. And even if you travel around with a wheelchair or crutches, take a look at my trunk. What tr junk? Trunk. Take a look at my trunk right now. I'm going to step aside and see. So there's a bunch of jackets here, some stuff, and here's a standard sized wheelchair. Fits perfectly in the back of the Tesla Model S with plenty of room to spare. So you can see as well that even if I put my crutches in, you know, on top of the wheelchair, oops, ha, ah, now I need to be stable in one foot you're still able to um, fit this in. So um, even if you have longer crutches, let's say you're six feet tall, they should fit without any problem. Yeah, so a wheelchair, some crutches, perfect. And that is without putting um, the seats down, you see? And if you are having trouble walking, like me, it's great to have someone who can drive. And Guess, <laughs> take a look. Here's Harry. my brother, <laughs> Aris. Come on, text me. <laughs> <laughs> my bro we're on our way to my cousin, to our cousin's wedding, and um, my brother Aris. He's not taller than me. He's just stepping on a higher. <laughs> 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 he's just stepping on um, the supercharger, yeah, um, yeah. on the, the curb. curb. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's driving to Edmonton for us. He's taking over yeah. the official chauffeur and uh... <laughs> the chauffeur on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which technically, doesn't not a lot of effort at uh, my part. <laughs> yeah. So we have more than enough charge, I guess. So we should be able to head up to Edmonton, no problem. We could have headed to Edmonton, no problem, but we needed to pee anyway. So while going to the washroom, or restroom for you, for um, those of you who are not in Canada, or the WC for my European viewers, um, while going to the WC, or the restroom, or the washroom, or the loo, um, you can supercharge. I'd like to also thank all of those who used my referral code. Um, Thomas Yu and David Wilson, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your new Teslas that are coming up. And also for those who have um, used my referral code prior, Ronald Wei, um, Dennis Jiang, Marlon Antonio, Mary Hel Antonio, and Cora Makmal, thank you very much for using my referral code. So anyway, we're off to Edmonton now. Okay, I'm in uh, autopilot mode. Hey, how do you like <laughs> autopilot? I can look at you. I mean, I'm look turning at me. without looking at. Uh, and look at anywhere else. Um, make it, making sure that everything is alright. <laughs> <laughs> Legally looking around my the surroundings. <laughs> yeah, this is a camera mode. I'm trying to fix it because you look so dark in the video. Anyway, yeah. So autopilot. How do you like autopilot? Oh wow. It's awesome. Well, let's see. <laughs> Minimal effort on my part. <laughs> Tell the viewers, Iris, what's the car you currently drive and you currently have? I have a 2012 Chevy Impala that has no autopilot. You have cruise control at least. There's a, yeah, there's cruise control. It's got aircon and the power yes. windows. <laughs> no Bluetooth. <laughs> no Bluetooth. 
So how does this driving experience compare? It's luxury. I mean, real good. <laughs> As if you have a, uh, you're you're the driver, but someone someone is your driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to go full electric soon? Oh yes. yes. So <laughs> once we uh, have our. Uh, once we dispose of our of our present car, we would go uh, go uh, to the grid. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not off grid, but to the grid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been sending you some pre-owned and uh, configurations of your Teslas, but you're almost you're almost ready, no? <laughs> oh yeah. You just need the garage, maybe. I need a garage, um, <laughs> possibly. Uh, I call that well, possibly want to compare the Model 3 driving experience and the uh, this driving experience to see which is a, a more suited for our needs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Model 3 drives a bit similar to the Model S, actually, according to those who have um, who have taken delivery nice. of their Model 3s. All I can say to the Canadian government, please allow us to import Teslas, please. <laughs> They're gonna grab one from California. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a lot of red tape. Come on. Or the cheaper? No, I don't think it's the Canadian government. I think it's Tesla that doesn't allow to um, bring cars cross border. Oh, is that so? Come on, please. As a Canadian, you can't buy from a Mr. Tesla store Musk, in California. Mr. Elon Musk, please allow American Teslas to be imported here. <laughs> I mean, Nissan Leafs are able to come here. Why not Teslas? <laughs> yeah, maybe soon. Because there's a lot of certified pre-owned ones that are what forty thousand U.S. dollars, right? Aye, yes. So maybe fifty thousand Canadian dollars. Oh, it would. It would. Uh, you would see a bigger demand of Teslas once that happens. Mm -hmm.